welcome to this click on administration for students with type 1 diabetes. Sipiger for a student with diabetes in a school setting is rare. For it is important that school staff know how to recognize and treat severe low blood sugar. Dedicated school staff, approximately four, trained to administer glucagon, a potentially life saving injectable medication. Or it can be given nasally um, as an emergency intervention for severe low blood sugar for students with type 1 diabetes. The purpose of session is to teach designated school staff how to administer glucagon safely and effectively. Completing this tra training session, you'll understand the causes of low blood sugar and the symptoms, how to respond when a student has low blood sugar, emergency treatment of a severe low blood sugar. And hopefully, with some hands-on training, you'll feel that you're able to administer glucagon either nasally or more injection if it is. Training component is very important, and to meet with your public health nurse to discuss how that's going to happen. Blood sugar occurs when blood sugar level in the blood drops below what the body needs to function normally. Diabetes can experience low blood sugar for numerous reasons. Managed by the daily administration of insulin to balance the body's blood sugars. The body uses the sugar in the blood for energy. When it's too much insulin, then enough losses or delays in meals or snacks, or in getting intense or unplanned physical activity, their blood sugar can become too low and can also be too low when a student with diabetes is ill, particularly with vomiting or diarrhea. Low blood can range in severity from mild to severe, and blood sugar at which signs and symptoms begin to occur will vary among students and with the same student in different situations. Symptom blood sugar will be student-specific. Low blood sugar can impair a student's cognitive abilities, which may affect their academic performance. Younger children will not be able to recognize symptoms of low blood sugar. Some of mild low blood sugar can include being cold, clammy, or having sweaty skin, pallidness, dizziness, irritability, or mood changes, fatigue, and hunger. For mild low blood sugar, the older student can usually self-treat, but a younger student will almost always need help. Some moderate low blood sugar can include all the same symptoms of mild blood sugar, plus blurred vision or double vision, difficulty concentrating, confusion, poor coordination, headache, and difficulty speaking. Student will require help to treat moderate low blood sugar. Symptoms of severe low blood sugar can also include loss of consciousness and seizures. The student who cannot swallow has an altered mental state or is semi-conscious, unconscious, or seizuring will require glucagon. Severe low blood sugar can be life-threatening, and an immediate response is needed to treat severe low blood sugar. So if a student is showing signs of low blood sugar, the student's blood sugar should be checked either by the student or designated school staff. If it's possible to check the blood sugar, treat based on symptoms. So there's harm in treating with sugar. Refer to instructions in the emergency plan if readily available. I would like you to treat for low blood sugar to, to give fast-acting glucose. And here are some examples. Students' blood sugar in 10 to 15 minutes. If it's low below 4 millimoles per liter, retreat with fast-acting glucose. Not possible to check the blood sugar. Treat based on symptoms. Sugar is above 4, or symptoms are gone. The next snack can be eaten. Any scheduled meal is more than 45 minutes away. A student snack containing a carbohydrate and a protein, maybe crackers and cheese. A student will be left alone or to another location alone or with another student when experiencing low blood sugar. Contact the parent or guardian. In the Severe low blood sugar and becomes unconscious or is unable to swallow, the administration of glucagon is the quickest way to raise the blood sugar. Identify someone to call 911. Have them there's an unconscious student with diabetes with severe low blood sugar. A responsible adult to call the student's parents or their guardian. 
turn his or her side to prevent choking and admit their glucagon. Do not give the student anything by mouth. Remember, to the administration of glucagon, delegate others to call both 911 and the student's parents. These slides will describe the steps involved in mixing and administering glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone that raises a person's blood sugar. With insulin, glucagon is produced in the pancreas. In a person without type 1 diabetes, the pancreas releases glucagon to ensure the blood sugar does not drop too low. Glucagon is a potentially life-saving treatment for severe low blood sugar, and it will not harm the student. How cause nausea and vomiting when the student regains consciousness? So it can be either administered by injection or given nasally, depending on the kit provided by the parents. Both of the kits are stored at room temperature. Make sure that your student has an injectable or nasal powder kit. So glucagon nasal powder is fairly new. Vaccine. An e-vaccine device has 3 milligrams of glucagon delivered in a powder. For people four years of age and older, Vaccine will work if, even if the student has a cold or is taking cold medication. It's available in Canada, January 2020. The cost is close to $200, and it has an expiry date of two years. So, glucagon nasal powder, vaccine, in its shrink wrap, and it's ready to use. If it's been opened and been exposed to moisture, which may influence the effectiveness of it, the drug. Fingers and thumbs, but do not press the plunger until ready to give the dose. And after that, remove the nose and throw away the used device and tube. The nail powder does not need to be held to work. And I'll just point out now, the trainer is in a gray tube, not the bright yellow of the real product. The trainer is quite stiff. So the product will be given quite smoothly when you put in the plunger. Good video for you to have a look at. And um, it is from an American website, but still very useful. So this is in this slide show the contents of types of injectable glucagon emergency kits that occur available. These kits may be prescribed for students with diabetes. So they can be inside of plastic cases or labeled cardboard boxes. Process for administering all brands of injectable glucagon are the same. And these kits should be at room temperature and not in a locked cupboard. The expiration date for most kits is approximately a year, and they cost about $110. And while they can be purchased without a prescription, um, when they are purchased with a prescription, they are covered under most benefit plans. The following slides describe the process for preparing and administering injectable glucagon. The first is to remove the cap from the bottle. Next, remove the protective cover from the syringe. Next, cover from the syringe and insert the needle into the center of the rubber stopper and slowly inject the liquid from the syringe into the dry powder bottle by compressing the plunger. You may find it easier to keep the vial on the table while you're doing this, as you may experience shaky hands. Just swirl the vial. You want to ensure the powder is fully dissolved and the solution is clear and has a water-like consistency. Do not vigorously shake the bottle as this will create bubbles. Then we withdraw the dissolved glucagon solution back into the syringe, making sure you keep the tip of the needle below the level of the fluid in the bottle. The amount of glucagon you will administer depends uh, on each of the student. So for injectable glucagon, for five years old or less, Administer 0.5 or half the bottle once the dilute has been added. At six years and older, administer one gram. This is the full bottle once the dilute has been added. Check the emergency plan for the dosage. Just to note that the glucagon emergency kit syringe will have a marking on it showing 0.5 milligram and one milligram. Times the syringe will say show it in milliliters. They're equivalent. So one liter equals one gram. 0.5 equals a uh, milligram equals 0.5 milligram. 
the glucagon has been drawn up, you want to insert that needle straight into the student's outer thigh, the middle outer thigh between the groin and the knee, and it's that medication. Draw the needle and apply light pressure at the injection site. The injection can be administered through clothing. In one layer, there's no seams or pockets, but only necessary. Do the needle, dispose of it safely. If you've got a sharps container, great, or poke it in eraser or put it back into the kit and securely close the kit. CON can actually be given into other sites. We're trying to keep this teaching similar to that of epinephrine. This is a provincial guideline. So it may take five to 20 minutes for the student to wake up. They may have no vomiting, so it's important for them to be in the recovery position. Remember, you cannot harm a student by injecting glucagon. It is impossible to overdose on glucagon. Are some visual aids for you? Unfortunately, not a lot of good videos on uh, injectable glucagon to share, so they're here with a suggestion of where to start. Glucagon has been given. Run with the student until the emergency medical services arrive. Remember, it may take five to 20 minutes for that student to fully respond. When is alert and able to swallow, give them some other fast acting sugar until that blood sugar is above 4 millimoles per liter, or the symptoms have disappeared. And once per, give a longer acting carbohydrate, such as cheese and crackers. If it's possible to check the blood sugar, treat based on symptoms. After to replace the glucagon kit in the event that the student experiences another low blood sugar. Complete required documentation as per your school or district policy. You can helpful to talk about this with um, your health nurse, school staff, the health care provider, or the parent, just to debrief about the event. Our trainers available for both injectable glucagon and for needling glucagon. And it's really important you have a chance to have a hands-on practice session. Please speak with your school public health nurse to arrange this. Glucagon is can be used to ensure that You've, your training um, has been successful. It can also be used as part of a review process of the information that is needed. 